Okay, this tutorial will cover final modifier for um, classes and then uh, methods. So as you know, um, when we use a final in front of uh, variables, we can change to constants. For example, final double pi 3.14. So pi cannot be changed to other value. So let's look at the example of inheritance here. So we have a super class called person, and then subclass students, and then another subclass undergraduate. So let's say this is a super class of students. And then student has a subclass as well. So we say this is a extend undergraduate extend students. Let's look at um, undergraduate. Then here. Previously, I used the idea of exchange. Exchange students from uh, other university. We may extend it from undergraduates. Actually, they are not our students, so it should not be extend, extended from our undergraduate. This may be considered as a special case on the uh, international affairs or something else. So here, let's look at the students. We had uh, one data field called code. So we should have a one public method called get code and set code. Normally, when you extend it uh, on the undergraduate class, you should be able to override superclass methods. In this case, we are looking at get code. The question is, can we prevent that actually happening? Okay, we make sure um, undergraduate class is the final class of uh, this in the hierarchy. So here we let's create uh, multiple uh, classes one by one. So we have a students undergraduate and then one more called uh, exchange person uh, same I'm going to use a uh, name as a data field make some space and then say um, to string Here, students is a subclass of person, so you extend. So we have a code for students, two string method. Extend student. For now, we don't have anything here. Exchange. Normally, we extend a student. Sorry, undergraduate.
Okay, uh, let's look at the idea of um, adding two string. Then again, uh, that's okay. So for two string. Here we want to override a um, superclass method called um, setCode. Because this is a subclass, we should be able to uh, override superclass methods. But idea is we should be able to um, prevent overwriting superclass methods eventually using final modifier. But here at this point we are overwriting superclass set code methods. So we have a person, student, undergraduate, and exchange, okay? So let's look at the final here, class, undergraduate. Then um, uh, we will have a look what will happen to exchange class. So when we declare as a final class, this class cannot be extended or inherit from student class. That's what happened here, cannot inherit from final undergraduate class. So that's, all, that's not allowed. So that cannot be done. Then here, um, let me quickly look at uh, some examples. Let's say student number um, S001. Undergraduate. We can actually set code here, call it as a U001. Because we override superclass methods, we are using set code um, that belongs to undergraduate. So question here, can we uh, prevent so that it, we, it cannot be over overwritten by subclass. So if that's the case, you go to a superclass, in this case, students class, then you can set a final methods. Here in this case, we can say that cannot be overwritten by subclass. So here, if we say final, we won't be able to override it. This is an important concept uh, if you want to have series of methods and classes, uh, you should be keep it as it is, then uh, won't be extended by anybody else. For example, if you, have, if you are working on the commercial projects, uh, your clients or your your customers won't be able to extend your class without your permissions, then uh, ideally you can prevent um, them to extend your class 
uh, not by uh, legal sense, more like in terms of software solution, you can set it as a final for classes and methods. So they won't be able to extend it. So that's the one students we use the final methods. Undergraduate class we use a final class. So it cannot be extended to exchange class. Okay. Uh, pretty much that's all. Thank you.